You heard Doug talk about it at the top. Setting SB4 into motion may immediately take your mind to the border. But what if we were talking about a taxpaying business operator who's called Texas home for the last 34 years? Tonight, Marvin Hurst meets the man who is, says he's worried about what the law could do to his life. At an unopened business in Richardson, we met Uber. When I come, I come alone. Uber speaks a little English, but the 53-year-old is fluent in work. He opened his business in 1990 after learning a trade at school. He and his wife, Louisa, knew his salary at a restaurant was just not enough. Caminamos tres noches. It was very dangerous uh, in the road. In the, in the journey, there was uh, snakes. Uh, they walked for three, three nights without a food or water. Before he became a girl dad of four and a grandfather who could take the grands to Bucky's, he was a 17-year-old migrant coming from Mexico to Dallas. And during that time, um, it wasn't, uh, there wasn't this anti-immigrant um, conversation going on and um, you know there wasn't a mass exodus of people coming into the United States so it was very different. Uber says the present day caravans coming to the Texas border were different from his experience but the fallout from the surge is his reality. Senate Bill 4 allows law enforcement to arrest migrants suspected of crossing into Texas unlawfully. That's if the court allows its implementation. Yes. He said yes, it frightens him because he has um, two daughters in the university. He's got his business. He's been here all his life. So it would seem like the easy answer for Uber and his wife, Louisa, would just be to become American citizens. But they say it isn't that easy. Coming to America means going back to Mexico, giving up their life and their business and waiting on a process that could take more than 10 years. Uber says his family's life is on the line. He has faith. Uh, Keep on living your life and fighting and moving on. Work. Ask God to pray for us and to protect us. Hoping SB4 doesn't send him and his wife to jail, destroying 34 years of building a family picture that could be gone in one court ruling. It would be terrible. It's something that I don't even want to imagine. Marvin Hurst, CBS News, Texas.